Hey folks, this is Ray from DCRayMaker.com. Garmin just went ahead and released the Connect IQ updates for the Edge 1000 and Edge 520. Uh, they announced this back in the September-October time frame, but it's just finally hitting availability now, which means you can go ahead and download apps to your Garmin Edge 520 or Edge 1000 or Edge 1000 Explorer. Um, this adds to the existing Connect IQ apps that they have on a lot of the wearables, like the 41920 XT, Phoenix 3, VivoActive, etc. So I'm going to kind of show you how it works real quick here. I've got one app already installed, but I'll show you how you go ahead and add apps before I get out and ride. So I'm going to go ahead down to my data fields in there. Um, and I can choose a field, and you'll notice this is where I've got the options for Connect IQ. Uh, so in this case, I can go and select that, and I can choose the different data fields that I've got configured. Now you have both data fields as well as apps. Apps have menus and choices and things like that. Data fields are simply just fields that you can add to your existing uh, training views. So in this case, I've added one called Visual Speed Alarm, another one for the BSX Insight. That allows me to go ahead and pair it to the VX, BSX Lactate Threshold Sensor. So that's this thing just down there in my leg, um, and it transmits up to the edge unit itself. So I'm going to go ahead and back, and you'll see this is the speed widget that I went ahead and added. I just found this on Connect IQ, and then if I go up um, a couple more pages here, we'll find it. The one I've already added, oh, there we go. So you'll see here I've got power, three second, 10 second, 30 second. And then right there I have uh, the data coming from the BSX sensor itself. So muscle oxygenation, um, as well as the other data that's gonna go ahead and transmit too. So heart rate is actually coming from my heart rate strap, uh, but all this displays here. So it's really this one line that's, that's unique and different um, because it's something that BSX has developed and published on the Connect IQ store. So with that, let's go ahead and get rod and I'll show you how it looks once we're uh, on the road there. Okay, folks, here we are out riding. So got the first Connect IQ data page there or data field up, which is a speed one. So you'll see it just simply shows my current speed as I go ahead and increase there. You see that little line increase. Fairly simple, nothing terribly complex, um, but you know, something that you can add if you want. This is just one of many examples out there, of course. So I'll go ahead and switch over to the other data page there. wrong way. There we go. Uh, do one more. There we go. So you see right here I got my watts up top and then second from the bottom I have muscle oxygenation and hemoglobin coming from the BSX sensor. Again that's the sensor that's down there. In this case, it's transmitting AMP plus over the muscle oxygenation profile up to the Garmin itself. And the last one is heart rate coming from the heart rate strap. Now, at this point, Garmin isn't actually recording the BSX data or any Connect IQ data for that matter, only the normal profiles. That's coming soon, but it's not quite there yet today. Hopefully we'll see that here in the next month or so though as they told us a previously a uh, q1 time frame so with that thanks for watching